One of the music industry's most talked about new performance artists recently paid a visit to our studio. Here's Maggie Rodriguez with The Priests. Father Eugene O'Hagan, Father Martin O'Hagan, and Father David DeLarge are not your ordinary Roman Catholic priests. When this Northern Irish trio is not fulfilling priestly duties, they are out in the studio cutting albums, signing million dollar contracts, and touring the world. This year, the priests released their debut album, and with a little help from above and a lot of talent, it's on its way to becoming a worldwide hit. And the priests are with us this morning. Good morning, fathers. Good morning, Good morning Maggie. Maggie. Congratulations on all your success. Thank, Thank you, you very much. The album debuted number one in your home country of Ireland, number five in the UK, and Time Magazine said about you, quote, you sing like angels. Father, oh, with all this success, are you considering uh, quitting your day job, perhaps? No, no, indeed not. <laughs> <laughs> Tempting though it might be, but nevertheless, from the very beginning, we made it clear that we wanted to remain as uh, ordinary priests working in our parishes and in our diocese, and we have that kind of sealed, signed and delivered in the contract. Except ordinary priests don't sign multi-million dollar contracts. What will you do with the money? Oh, it's most unusual, yes. Uh, it's a very special contract. In terms of the money, um, Sony have invested a considerable amount in making this a good quality album. We hope that after they have recouped their costs that any royalties that come in, the significant proportion of those royalties will go towards charities. Now we haven't worked that out in detail yet. We hope perhaps the sick and retired priests in our own diocese may benefit, but there will be other charities, not, not purely Catholic, but charities that go right across the board and are generic in their, their format. Uh, Father Delargi, when did you three get together as performers? Well, I suppose it began for all three of us in 1974 when Martin and I, who are classmates, joined Eugene in our school and we took part in Gilbert and Sullivan productions uh, all through those years and through our student years in Belfast and later in the Irish College in Rome and back in our diocese. We've continued singing over all those years. I think it adds up to a grand total of about 34 years in total. Oh.